Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use that will allow you to access Linux drives from your Windows computer. So it's called Disk Internals Linux Reader. So we did a video recently on the uh, similar tool from Paragon Software, which we actually like better, but this is another alternative in case you can't get that one to work. So once you download it and install it, just double click it to run it. All right, then it'll show your drives here. So we have the E drive, C drive here with our NTFS volumes. So here are the physical drives. One is 120 gigs and one is 80 gigs. And then these are the volumes within these physical drives. All right, so now I'm going to pause the video here and attach a Linux hard drive from a Linux computer. Okay, so I attached a hard drive from a Debian 11 computer here. All right, so we have the 50 gig Linux EXT volume and there's also a swap volume, but I don't think we'll be able to access this. Uh, no, but they do have some other tools, uh, Linux recovery, NTFS recovery, and partition recovery that'll help you with this type of thing, but these are not free like the Linux reader. All right, so if we open this guy here, it shows a preview window, and then we have all of our folders here, you know, dev, Etsy, and so on. All right, so let's say we wanted to back up some files here. You could either right click it, save, then you pick save files, or you could mount to system or upload to FTP. We're just gonna pick save, pick where you wanna save it. You could save the directory structure, and then you have some overwrite options if you already have a file there. So we'll just do it on the desktop. All right, so there's the file. And even though it looks like you could drag and drop, it doesn't let you do that. So you're gonna to have to use the right click option here. And if you try to copy a file there, it doesn't let you write to, it just lets you take files off of it. Then up here you have some options under commands, add files to recovery list. So you could do this if you want. And then once you click on save, for main window one item, for recovery list three items, let's pick all three, and then you have the same options to save the files. We'll do the desktop again. And so now we have our files, and then we can clear it when we're done. There's also a storage report if you want to export that as an XML file. You can show the log, save the file list as a CSV file. Then they have some extra tools here, but if you click on one, it's going to ask you if you want to install it. Then you can change your view options here. If you want to view thumbnails or details, that type of thing, refresh your list. I've tried this mount image option here with the uh, VMware and also VirtualBox disk, but I got an error and it wanted me to install one of the pay for products. So you might have better luck when you try it. But you could also do raw disk images such as a DSK or an IMG file. And then you can see the preview here. It's just kind of showing you the uh, hex information for the files. You can change it to text if you want, binary, and so on. I'm not sure how super useful that is, but it's an option for your previews. Then of course they have a pro version. Uh, you could search. So if we do games, since we were in that games folder, let's see what we got here. Found the games folder, so it's a pretty quick search. And that's about it. Then you go back to your drive list here. Then you have some right click options, open partition, reopen partition, uh, create image. So if you wanna create a disk image from that volume, you can try that out. Then you have some options here for entire disk or boot sector or selected region. Mount the image, that just brings up the same window we saw before there. Refresh, mount to disk letter. This tells you you need the pro version to do that. You have an expert mode here, back up the folder tree, extend the log, calculate folder sizes, hex preview, and then you can see the properties for the partition and the physical disk. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty useful uh, program. So if you need to get some files off of a Linux drive, let's say your computer uh, decided to die on you, but you need to recover the files, you could definitely give this a shot. So I will put a link in the description where you could download Disk Internals Linux Reader and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.
Thank <laughs> you.